Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a Tiki 30 model that I've made. So this model is pretty accurate. It doesn't follow completely the same layout as the original Tiki 30 because as you can see I've added the rounded hatches that I came up with and I've shortened the deck pod as well. But otherwise it's uh, pretty much exactly the same. Let's just take a look at that from all of the different angles. So most of it is complete aside from the sail which is missing and there is a bit of an area on the metal archway that I wanted to extend over to the different hulls. Near the front of the boat you can see the wooden slats and this would be an area that I've um, extended down for the anchor chain. Okay, And inside of the boat as well is exactly how it would be when designed. So I'm just going to change the appearance of those to glass so you can see into it. Okay, and uh, let me just turn on the bulkheads as well, so you can see that. What I haven't included yet is the galley, which would be uh, at the back here, and the head, which would be at the back over here. But otherwise, uh, these two hulls are symmetrical. And what I've also got is a little 3D model I made of the average sized person. So I think they're about five foot eight, something like that. So that's a good reference scale right there. And I've also created a uh, idea for a hard dodger. So let's take a look at that. So I don't really like how this adds a bunch of windage to the side of the boat, but what is nice about it is the amount of area that you could add for solar panels up top there, and this would be really nice for shade in, uh, in say, the tropics. I've also got an example of what the boat might look like if it had a boom. You can see that that fits right above the hard dodger there. I've seen a lot of gaff-rigged boats with booms, Worms are the only ones I know that don't have that, so I don't see why you couldn't add it. I can see some issues that it might add, though. So let's take a look at that without the hard dodger. Very neat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put the uh, color back onto that hull. I believe it's this color. Okay, and then we're going to go into render mode and take a look at what the boat looks like with uh, some water around it. So that looks fairly nice. And I can also zoom into the center pod and you can take a look from the inside there as well. That's a nice view. So yeah, that's the 3D model so far. It's obviously not fully complete and there's still some things that I need to add, but a uh, link is in the description to download. My next steps are to try and modify the model so I could 3D print it. 